At Stanmore, Des Moffat's plans to keep trains running while engineering work is going on have come unstuck. The first train of the morning has broken down and needs to be taken out of service. But this is not as simple as it sounds. We have to unclip all the Scotch order points. This train goes into the sidings, we bring another one back out, and we have to secure all the routes back up again. Until they can get the train swapped, there'll be no service at all. 17 A's are unsecured. Tim? Uh, 18 B's are unsecured. Two of us go down, pull up, straight off, train away. Is that Naim Khan? Des is desperate to speed the process up and get the service running again. So what we can do is double end the train, so we have one on each end. When it goes into the reception road, the driver doesn't have to walk all the way back through and just liven it straight up and get the bit metronomic, that's what we're looking for. There's no time to turn off the traction current. So the team rely on years of experience to perform the job safely. Seventeen minutes, that's pretty good time. If we'd have double ended, we'd have done it even quicker. In seventeen minutes, we've removed all that protection and got a train back in and back out. That isn't too bad. The service resumes, and at last Des feels single line working is going to succeed after all. We're back up and running. Believe in yourself. All right. It's only nerves that will let you down. All right. This is really all that stands now between you and becoming a full, full-fledged train operator. Take your time over things, and I think you should be okay. Yeah. In less than an hour, Ishmael will know if he has a future driving trains. But train operators are only one part of running a railway. Can you go severe delays on the clockwise circle, please? A good controller knows exactly where all his trains are. Most of it's in your head. At Baker Street, line controller Simon Flatow has a new system to show where his trains are. It's called Trackernet. You're instantly informed by the diagram that there's a train present, so it, it's faster than looking it up in a timetable to gather information. We're running three different railway lines here, four or five depots, yeah, um, 75 and a half trains, uh, and it's pretty constant. Today, Simon has to organise some emergency engineering work. A signal needs adjusting near Finchley Road. Simon will manoeuvre his trains like pieces on a chessboard to create space for the engineers to work and provide an empty train to get them to the site. Hello, 432 Max, to get up as a Baker Street, please. That's the train we're going to use for the engineering job. Just going in Walgate. That's it. Thank you. Thanks. As 432 approaches Baker Street, train manager Brian Meager gets ready to take the engineers into the tunnel. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. The passengers from train 432 will have to wait on the platform while the work's carried out. Yes. While the work goes on, there'll be no service running on the Metropolitan Line. Well, we're just coming up to the area um, where they're going <coughs> to reduce the current in the signal track. They're going to let me know where it is. How far is it? Well, we're stuck at this signal now. It's up around the corner. We'll be able to shout when we get there. Just before the repeat of that reason. The team will be given just 10 minutes to do the work. The EMT uh, base, we are approaching uh, the area concerned now. We're just coming to a stop any second now, over. Thank you very much. They've got approximately 10 minutes, 10 minutes to put on the legs. Lovely, this will be fine. Switching off the traction current would only add more delays. 
Yeah, received that. Confirmed. Traction current is on. Okay, good. Sir. The engineers will have to work fast, but with 630 volts just inches away, mistakes could be fatal. So the engineer's on site. Um, and you're happy with that? Okay, okay then. Yeah. Thanks. Already the work is causing delays. Five minutes, gentlemen, five minutes. It's the start of Ishmael's final test. A safety critical mistake now, and his ambition to become a train operator will be over. It might take him years to get back on the course. And I need to check the pressure gauge in my front cam. Okay. To... Okay, Take a seat, mate. You'd be pleased to know the assessment's over. How do you think you did? I think I should pass it. You think you should pass? Yeah. Well, I can confirm that for you. Thank you. Very well done, mate. It's been a pleasure Thanks. teaching you anyway. Okay. So, congratulations. I enjoyed it, but the nerves. It was very nervous. And I need to tell my wife. Yeah, hello, Fina. Yeah, I've passed the test in the Fina. Yeah, I finished my assessment and I've passed everything, man. <laughs> Your big sis is a train ops now. <laughs> yeah, man. The engineers start to pack up with two minutes to spare. They've made good time. So our last two colleagues were at the other end checking the relay and uh, they'll be back on the road shortly. OK. Let's go. No more access and everybody's clear of the track. Over. <laughs> Back to normal, OK? Cheers, thanks for your help. Uh, that was effectively like clockwork. That was quite a controlled event, which is what, I'm, you know, paid, what we're paid to do. So, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. The engineering work has caused a disruption to the service, but it's soon forgotten in the cut and thrust of a busy day in the control room. Non-stop Liverpool Street, non-stop Liverpool Street, please. This is due to evacuation of fire alarm equipment. Oh, gosh. Received and understood. Have you called the police? I mean, I'm happy to supply the police if you're feeling threatened. You're telling me it's a school kid? Ishmael has waited a long time for the chance to finally drive his own train. <laughs> for his first few months, he'll be accompanied by an instructor. watching everything. His first real test is getting the train to stop at the mark. But at the new Jubilee Line stations, it's even more critical. If the train doesn't line up exactly with the platform doors, they won't open, and you'll have to drive straight on to the next station. This is never popular with the customers. and clear the closing doors, mind the doors.
minutes, you wasted an extra 10 seconds at that station. 10 seconds might not sound like much, but London Underground have a target of 24 trains per hour on the Jubilee line. Every second counts. I think it went well enough, but apart from two stations, the first one, Westminster, I read the stopping mark here and I should have read it here. But overall, Ishmael's first day has been a success and he's ready for his new life as a driver. It was fun. Fun. I'm a lot confident now and I'm ready to go up and down. Next time, a trip into the past with Oliver Green. This is also the origin of the, the word tube. While Jason Collins explores what lies beneath Waterloo Station. The gladiators will be stomping onto your screens at six this evening for a brand new battle in a classic Saturday night telly feast. And then from seven, we're dedicating two hours to revisiting some of the best bits from Lion Man.